Okay, today we're showing you a Kent. Uh, this is an 8x18 or their model number 250. Um, this is a KGS uh, version and an AHD for automatic uh, hydraulic downfeed. So this is a three axis surface grinder. Uh, it's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. You've got an external uh, hydraulic unit that you connect a couple of hoses to and we have a cooling system there with a magnetic separator. machine also has a nice light on it, it has an over the wheel dresser and uh, you dress the wheel with that. So we have um, a down feed hand wheel here, your cross feed which you see going and your table hand wheel. Over here we have a manual uh, one shot uh, lubricating pump to lubricate the ways and uh, you see it running right now. This is what would be the surface grinding uh, mode where we have the saddle going back and forth uh, as the table reverses. And on the side over here there are a couple of dogs or switches that have to be, oh you'll see those in our photos, but they have to be reversed or, or set up you know, so that the table saddle travels the right distance. Same with your dogs here on the table. Uh, this is a fine pole, fine division chuck on here. I'm not sure of the manufacturer. Uh, we'll probably have that listed on our website. Um, so all that's missing right now is to start the down feed. So which, to start the down feed, I would want to select here, first of all, that I'm in a surface grinding kind of a mode rather than uh, no mode at all. So as soon as I set that off, I lost, uh, I go over here. This would be a plunge feed. And if I was to start this, we get the green light, we look at our hand wheel here, and this is feeding down each time the table goes back and forth. That would be considered a slot grind or a um, plunge grind. So this moves pretty fine. This is how you would adjust it. Right now it's set from zero, uh, which would be no down feed, um, two tenths, three, about three tenths. And it seems to be doing it quite consistently. As you open this up, you get more of a feed. And it'll continue like that until it gets to zero. Now as long as this down feed I have turned on, uh, this is locked in by some gearing and some spring tension. If I want to move that, I can put this back to zero up here. I'm going to lose this green light. But now I can bring this down by zero. We'll turn it on again. And now we're going to continue. And you'll see when it gets to the zero that it will stop feeding and the light will go off. That's your automatic cycle. At this point here, you should be at the right size. If you're not at the right size, then you loosen this uh, adjusting collar here or scale and set however much more material you want to take off. And you always start off on the high side uh, so you don't go too far. Then you need to back this up again and simply hit the button and you're off and running again. Now the surface grinding mode, which would be the other mode that it can do, which now is going to shut the feed off again and we're going to go over to this, this position and we're going to get the saddle to move. Now it wants to know which way to move so I press one of these arrows and then it starts going. Now once I have this turned on, each time the saddle goes back and forth and reverses, it's going to feed again. So this will continue like that until it gets to zero and then it'll stop. Now I can tell you this machine is in nice condition. It's very quiet. It's working very well. Um, so I wouldn't hesitate. This is a nice grinder. Um, I don't know what else I could say about it. They are what they are. Um, the cycle comes to a stop when you get to zero. You, the operator, has to move off the workpiece and raise the wheel up. Um, and it seems like it's a fine machine. Thank you.